I'm going to talk about United Nations organization today because there are certain things that I feel very strongly about uh, this subject. UN was formed in 1945 after the large scale destruction that was caused um, in the war. Uh, so some kind of an organization was needed to help rebuild these nations plus uh, to ensure that such uh, wars are not repeated. The world is not subjected to such wars again. The permanent members of UN were United States, UK, China, uh, Russia, France. Three members of uh, three members out of five is some. Th these are the people I I want to talk about. United States that had dropped bombs on Nagasaki and Hiroshima just three months before uh, United Nation was formed. So it presents itself as one of the permanent members of UN that would eventually tell all the countries uh, how to manage their society, foreign relations, econom economy. It's isn't it preposterous? What is it? Are you entitled after all the damage that you have caused, after the arrogance that you that puffs you up all the time, you present yourself as one of the permanent members? The second one, uh, the second country is United Kingdom. Uh, it had colonized at one point 60 to 65 countries. And even India at that time had not gotten its independence. We got our independence in 1947 and many countries were there under its rule up till 1980s, 1980 or 81. Hmm? So that will come, that country, and, and these people were not there to do social service in the countries uh, they had colonized. They were completely milking those countries. Hmm? Third, China. China, I don't know why people don't talk about it more openly about the policy makers there. I'm using the word policy makers because the common people are never to be blamed in any of the country. So even if how it is uh, perceived, uh, India's arch rivals, we don't have anything against the common people in uh, with our neighbor. It's the policy makers who have skewed way. That's why they are perceived not just by India in a certain way, but other countries also. So there must be so many people are saying something about you. Keep that, take cognizance of it rather than rejecting it through and through. So the common people need to dissociate themselves a little bit because we are just so, so ruthlessly taken uh, advantage of. So these three countries uh, who had no place to be in uh, United Nations were made the permanent members the, who would tell people what to do. And they don't allow till date to uh, uh, other countries to become permanent members. Other countries can become temporary members, uh, but they are not given the power to veto decisions taken by uh, the heads. They don't have the power. So what's the good use? The second thing, uh, uh, did I say second thing? <laughs> this, I don't know which point is that. But then, uh, have you ever seen presence of United Nations at the grassroots level? I haven't. No underdeveloped or developing country has ever become developed after uh, these organizations have come into picture. What, what are they doing? What exactly is their function? To make reports, to make documentaries, to give rankings to people, to tell underdeveloped and developing countries how filthy and stinking they are, how many crimes they are, there are in these countries, how uneducated they are, what are the levels of pollution uh, that they have, air, water, indoor pollution, crime against women. Even though if you delve deeper, you'll find that there are many unreported crimes in the developed nations also much more than these uh, developing countries then even in this uh, at the level of society any country that's been dealing struggling with inequality corruption 
you haven't seen i haven't seen presence of uh, united nations coming in and making things right if they are just there to make reports i am giving a report too nobody pays me and no i don't want to be paid if somebody looks he sees this video that's going to be enough because i am bringing some information forth give out information in the universe some day some people who may feel benefit who may be destined to feel benefited by it would come by that's it that's pretty much it so why are we cultivating united nation organization if a child doesn't perform in the exam he's he fails and he repeats the class if a government does not perform uh, they are weeded out of power if an employee doesn't function well perform well the seniors ask them to leave why is or united nation organization still around have you ever seen some solid change in the world after uh, united nation has come into picture especially in the field of economy especially in the field of economy other than making reports i haven't seen and the kind of uh, arrogance they have like the kind of uh, behave how they behave just just keep their own uh, opinion supreme that's nepotism that's pretty much it i guess bye